Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. And welcome to my instant match reaction to Everton 4, West Ham United 1. Everton cruised through eventually to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup with a comprehensive win over West Ham, courtesy of a Dominic Calvert-Lewin hat-trick, another Dominic Calvert-Lewin hat-trick, his second in two weeks, which is excellent stuff. Unfortunately, on the downside, it looks as though we've lost a couple of players to injury. Alan looks as though he may well have torn his groin or something, and Richarlison went over on his ankle, which is not good to see either. John Joe Kenny also seemed to go over on his ankle as well. We lost three players over the course of the game to different injuries, which is a real shame. It's a but a mere dark element of this game, which was otherwise very bright. Again, we played very, very well, knocked the ball around brilliantly. We're definitely the better side, I'd say. And Dominic calvert Loom was looking absolutely deadly. Two of his goals were absolutely brilliantly taken today. And... You know, and the other goal was another very good poacher's goal. You know, he's scoring all different kinds of goals, Dominic calvert and It was something I wasn't too sure that he'd be capable of, of a couple of years ago, but he's really developing into an excellent striker. And, you know, I think that's seven now for the season, or eight, maybe eight, actually. I think it's eight for the season. You know, and we're when he played six games, it's absolutely brilliant. Great start to the season for Dominic calvert Loom. Richarlison got the other goal, a deflected shot that went in off Declan Rice. We've just got to hope that Richarlison's okay. Uh, his injury looked a bit grim at first. He did manage to hobble off. We'll just have to wait and see how it looks for him. Allen is probably the one that probably concerned me the most. It looks as though he's done something pretty nasty to his groin. We've got to hope that Fabian Delph step, can step up if he's out for a quite a while I mean if then today was anything to go by Fabian Delft did actually do very well I thought he had a really good game Delft today as did of course James Rodriguez it was another excellent performance this was his first appearance in the Carabao Cup Rodriguez and he absolutely lit the game up yet again you know it, he's just absolute class and he's just everything he does is magic isn't it again Michael Keane was very good again at the back Brilliant ball over the top for the opening goal. Luca Dean did brilliantly at centre back. I was very concerned going into this game how he'd handled being up against Sebastian Haller given the height difference, but he handled it brilliantly. And you know, the, the, for the most part, this was a very, very good performance. I think we did, we did very well. You know, West Ham have not started the season brilliantly, with the exception of that Wolves game at the weekend, but it still takes. A decent performance to comprehensively beat a Premier League side. I mean, you know, we've beaten them 4-1 in the end, so it is pretty comprehensive. It's really, really good to see. And yet another good performance. I mean, most of the games we've played in so far, we've played very well. You know, we can't really complain about that. Like I say, it's just an issue of these injuries. Now we've just got to hope for the best with these, and hopefully it doesn't... Uh, have too much of an impact in the long term. Hopefully, we can get to this international break and hopefully we might see them back the other side of that. I think that, that'll be the aim, hopefully, for the medical team and for, obviously, Carlo Ancelotti. But with that in mind, it is on to Brighton next. We've got Brighton on Saturday. And then, of course, like I say, the international break and it'll, all eyes will be on Dominic Calvert-Lewin, whether he gets into Gareth Southgate's England team after two hat-tricks in two weeks. I mean... And what more's he got to do? I mean, surely he's got to get picked eventually if he carries on with this kind of form. But yeah, we'll definitely have to keep an eye open for that. I think the team, the England team is named tomorrow, so we'll wait and see on that front. But, and then after that, of course, we've got Brighton before the England break as well. So all eyes turn to that after this. But for this game, as far as, your, as, far as this game's concerned, of course, let us know your opinions. Drop us a comment below. Give this video a like as well. Subscribe for more content as well. And until next time, thank you for watching on the Toffee Blues.